three years starter, two years on the offensive line, one year at defensive end. Okay. We call him Boss. His name is Chris Knighton. Uh, Knighton went over to uh, went to Texas Tech after his senior year. Actually, uh, a two year starter at left tackle on on some very good offensive lines, 2006 and 2007. And then as a senior, he flips over to the defensive side of the ball. 97 tackles, five sacks, 16 for loss, two fumbles, four, so one fumble recovery, three pass breakups, and then an interception. A real stat sheet stuffer right there, as as they say in, on NBA 2K. Yeah. Yeah, and so... Uh, this is definitely not 2K. I know. I, I, I started it, Fuck and I was like, I have to commit to it. Because once you start, you have to commit. That was gas. And the G was silent. There you go. Damn. But yeah, nah. A very good football player. Uh, a lot of length. And that's what helped him in his pass rushing. Uh, you know, similar story to what you said about book. How you just hit him with the arm over and there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah. I watched Chris Knight abuse Tevin Radcliffe with that arm over and it was hilarious. And I would tell him what's coming. And he we actually was, call it a swim move. I don't call it arm over. I never heard that term. I never heard it. I've been, look, man, I coach swim some old people. Swim move, you know. I've coached with some old people in the last two or three years. I and, feel you. And they use the term arm over. And I uh, it's growing on it. you. I didn't even catch it. But yeah, nah, Boss was a great Swim player. Uh, he may have learned that from me. Did he? Who Should knows? Did I, I figured, I feel like you probably used it on him a couple times in one-on-one -on -one pass rush, no? Not with him. Not with him. Who, oh, just book? Just book. Just book. Only one you abused with? Yeah, Boss was... Um, tackle. He was a tackle, so I was in. I had a little more... It was fairly easy with Boss. He was a young kid. Yeah, he was but like, I loved Chris Tubman. I really did. Competitive dude. Scored a touchdown off of who done it? Did he? Yeah. Chris and Chris? Yeah. As a junior? No way. I think so. You smoking. You smoking. He caught who done it and scored. He caught who done it in, in Dallas Carter and got tackled after three yards. Oh, so he didn't score. Now who done it? Who scored off who done it? I don't even Fred. know what the fuck who done it is, Fred. Yeah. You can pull it up. It's on YouTube. Oh, no, Chris Knight no. got the ball and got tackled. Did that what happened? It was trash. He ran Dallas Carter that was his senior year against his senior year, it was yeah. trash. But he played he had caught that pass before. He didn't score, trust he didn't me. Score. He I got can guarantee it. Yeah. He caught an interception as a defensive end too. And that who done it was kind of my fault when he did school. I remember that play. What'd you do wrong? I went out there and do it. I did what I was supposed to do on screens. Right. Don't don't dance with him. Go out there and dive at him. So I dove at the guy's legs and it was just Chris kind of just ran into him anyway. It was like, bro, why didn't you cut inside of me? I dove at his leg. Is this on Dallas Carter? Yeah, I'm gonna pull that up. Like bro. I really went out there and tried to dive at his leg. I'm thinking he gonna cut inside of it, walking in though. No, I don't think that was for him. Yeah. That who done it wasn't for him. Was I want to know athletic enough, who though. done that. But I love Chris yeah, Lane because as a freshman going into his sophomore year, I remember coming in and I'm a junior going to my senior year. I'm like, shit, all right, no, I'm starting. I ain't. You know, you get kind of cocky and it's summer workouts. Right. So I really never came to summer workouts. What? Yeah. That's part of the reason why you only play one year, bro. <laughs> Who knows? No, no, no. The What's funny is, talk, the boy had it it's funny because, I, I mean, as a sophomore going into my junior year, I was way more committed. Because I was like, I'm, I don't got the word. I'm being on varsity. I'm just trying to work out and all this shit. And then it was like, I was on the sideline the shit, whole year. Trent gone, so shit. I know I'm playing now. Trent gone, I'm like, shit, hard work's done. <laughs> got Trent up out of here, so... Like, it's funny. We never went to work out, me and Base Nil. And the, it's fucked up because the time I'm talking about, we didn't even work out. We just came up there, showed our face, kind of looked around like, here, coach. Hey, Rick, ain't seen you all summer. Yeah, been working. Just lying. But guess who's up there? A little 14-year-old Chris Knighton up there getting it in. Yeah. I go up and shake his hand. See you up here getting in, little bro? Oh, yeah. His exact words. He said, oh, yeah, bro. I'm trying to go D1. And I just remember being like, yeah. Dream big, kid. And he went D1. He and went D1. Y'all went to go drink alcohol and <laughs> go talk to horse, which is kind of why he went heavy to on the Heavy on the talk to horse part. Very heavy which on that. why y'all went to Tech. And he and went we to Tech. <laughs> TJC for a week. 
But shouts to Boss, man. Yeah, I feel I, I always feel like I got like a hand in his success because Cause you he, laughed at him? No. Oh. <laughs> because he took my spot. Ah, okay. I'm so thankful for him. Yeah, no I got moved to defense permanently, started there, and he took my spot. I was so glad because without him, I would have been stuck. Stepping up, you've been. I would have been stuck at offensive tackle, and I hated that. I hated tackle. So yeah, shout out to Boss, man. That's my little bro. Shout out to Boss at 42. The last but not least, a tight.